Good morning, everybody. A Staley starts now. Alrighty, it's uh, Wednesday the 3rd. It's 29 degrees. It's actually supposed to get up to 51 today, so I think that the the, the, the worst is behind us. So now all we got to do is make it through the rest of today, and I think we'll be good. The roads uh, did not ice over last night, so that was good. When Denise went to uh, pick up Sierra, she didn't have to worry about any slippery roads with black ice or anything like that. So there's always something good to be said for people getting home safe. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the first installment of the new system. I've just finished editing the uh, middle of this video, so that's good. I'm a little bit ahead of the game. I'm hoping to stay ahead of the game because that gives me more time to, uh, to do research on future subjects. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what we've got so far. It's a lot nicer today than it was yesterday. I don't know if you can tell, but... The sun is shining, which helps with the warmth. Yesterday was a little bit overcast, so not feeling as bad as yesterday. Of course, it's still still hurting my arm to hold it up, but it did that with the regular temperatures. So, all right. So, let me know what y'all think of the new format after you're done with this video. Uh, I think I honestly think it's working out pretty well. Uh, I've got the opportunity to edit the middle piece uh, like I did with the courthouse. I edited it. I edited it. I edited it, edited it. I went through and did my editing and I watched it and I saw a couple holes that needed filled. So I went and edited it again. Then I saw some stuff where I had too much stuff, so I took some stuff out. I got to play with it a little bit longer. And the old style of how I would do my videos, that first take would be all there was. I wouldn't elaborate anymore because I was already catching up to my deadline. So I didn't want to have to make it go all night long. So now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Sorry about that. I was speaking to a gentleman that was uh, trimming his hedges. Uh, I like the fact that I can go through and second guess, even third guess myself on my editing options. As a matter of fact, before I finished with it, I actually showed it to Denise. And Denise was a little bit shocked because all of last year, she had to wait until the final product was done. Now she actually gets to see a little bit of it and she gets to make her suggestions too, so that's good. Alrighty, getting ready to round the corner, got a call. Got to alert Denise that I'm on break. So, see all you guys in a bit. I'm off work and it's 52 degrees. Ooh, Bucky, Melody, Denise, and me. We're gonna go to P. Terry's for dinner. All right. We stopped at the library so I can pick up some stuff. <gasps> They're leaving me. Bye. They came back for me. Oh, that. Oh, I don't know if I can. That's better. Here at Pete Terry's. They're gonna go in before me. They're leaving me again. It's the menu. I've had a lot of people asking me for that. Not really, but I thought I'd show you how I'm sad. People have taken my seat. I have to find somewhere else to sit. I'll sit over here. I'll show them. Meanies. Everybody eating except for me. I'm videoing. That's a good look. Oh, made it home, and that's all for Wednesday. 
I hope you enjoy the following video of the Bremen Block here in Austin, Texas. This is Chateau Bellevue. This is owned by the Austin Women's Club. This house was built in 1874 and renovated in also called the North Evans Chateau. They had a drive around to the back of the house. This is 7-Eleven San Antonio, the Walter Bremond House. It was built in 1872 and renovated from 1887 to 1888. Here's the side. And it's got a balcony. Denise loved that balcony. Currently, Voodoo Cowboy Entertainment and Miller Law. Pretty long building. There's a side door. The house just continues on and on. A chimney up there. This is the Catherine Robinson house built in 1891. This is 705 San Antonio. There's a pathway to the back. There's a little yard of 711. And here is 705. The shutters are closed and the shutters are open. There's the main door. It has the kind of front porch that Denise really likes. This is North Cottage. It was built in 1879. There's a sign in front of it. But that's 706 San Antonio. It's not called North because of the direction. It's a family name. Sorry for all the racket. They're building skyscrapers. This is 702 Santonio. It's a Franklin North apartment. What should I say? William Franklin North. 
one of these is his apartment. I'm figuring it's upstairs. This is 700 San Antonio Street. It's the North Platts House and House. It was built in 1879. And it's newly been renovated in 2007. Hey, that's the year Denise and I got married. So it's another seven. Wow. Oh, this is interesting. I think Denise would like this. It's like a way down and then a way down. And then it even goes further down. There's a down to the down. Oh no. Our hosers. You hosers. This is 404 West 7th Street. This house was built in 1873. Oh my gosh. Bears. Look at that grand staircase. And this tree even has a brace. From 1876 to 1877, Eugene Bremen was an alderman of the city of Austin. And look, it's two scary bears. A big gummy bear and a yellow bear. Hmm yellow bear. Who do I know of that likes yellow bears? This sidewalk looks like it could use some work. And this is the Pierre Bremen house. It was built in 1898. It's owned by the Texas Classroom Teachers Association. Top window is pretty cool. This is the John Bremen Jr. house. It's not really much of a junior house, but it was built in 1886. It's owned by and it's the headquarters of the Texas Classroom Teachers Association. And next door they own that building too. This has a grand staircase also. And look, a wraparound balcony. Denise would like that. That way she could throw like hot coffee on people that were bugging her from, oh wait, that would be me. Oh look, there's a little Juliet balcony up above the uh, Romeo balcony. Up above the uh, dining room, I guess, which is above the cellar that has the dungeon in it. Okay, I'm making most of that stuff up. But which part am I making up? You got pretty flowers too. Those are Indian paintbrush, I believe. Maybe not. There's the Texas Classroom Teachers Association marker. Pretty elaborate, that's for sure. Look at a fire escape. I could definitely go for a house like this. This is 
the Phillips Bremen Houston house. It was built in 1854. I don't have the code. Does anybody have the code? the James T. Brown house. 610 Guadalupe Street. It's Greek Revival with the columns. Looks like it's been updated for commercial uses, which is a shame. The front does look neat. The, line, the back is so ho ho. Good Thursday morning, everybody. Ace Daily starts now. Alrighty. Good morning again, everybody. I apologize if I seemed insensitive yesterday with the. Uh, weather warming up here in Austin. Did not realize how brutal the weather was going to be to the East Coast. Uh, I was just remarking how the weather here changes the drop of a hat. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video on the Bremen block. Uh, Denise and I had a fun time videoing that uh, while we were uh, while we were videoing that we had sort of you know we had started this new format and uh, she was helping me out because like I said I've been doing a lot of research on it and uh, she had been helping me to you know feed me notes and info and the way that I had written the info down was in order of how the houses were uh, online, and the way we did it was totally bass backwards. So we were a little confused. Well, Denise was confused, but it was my fault because I basically confused her by putting a different format or different directions on what we in, uh, initially planned to what we wound up doing. So I think it came out okay. I'll leave you all to be the judge of that. Uh, it's Thursday morning. So today's the last day of this vlog. It'll be uploaded tomorrow on Friday morning. And uh, like I was saying earlier, we do have some plans set up this weekend. We're going to the other two uh, city parks that were set up originally on the original plat for the uh, city of Austin. Uh, one of the uh, park plats, one of the parks, one of the parks is no longer a park. And uh, we'll go there and show you what is there. And then we have a few museums on the other one. So we're going to have a, a little bit of fun on Saturday doing that. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. I mean, used to be I would just go by the seat of my pants and 
try to find something. Well, it didn't start that way. It wound up that way. Now I've got plans and I'm working on arranging stuff so that we can actually go to some shows that they're having. They usually have like a, well, first of all, there's a home and garden show. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to go to that one due to the fact that I'm on call that weekend. But there are some other shows coming that I'm thinking about going to and sharing with y'all. So, woof woof. So we'll see about that once the time comes. My arm's really sore, but I'm fighting through it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, getting ready to go to the corner where the woofs are. Let's see what they're up to. Hello. Woof woof. Woof woof. Uh, just so y'all know, this afternoon I may be going somewhere to uh, possibly purchase something, not to a store. Uh, Denise and I are possibly going to be heading to South Austin. We're going to take you along with us. Uh, and we'll, we'll see what happens on this. Uh, don't know exactly if we're going to buy it or not, but... <sighs> We're going to look at a van, possibly. Now, this van is not like the greatest van, but that's not what I'm looking at using it for. I'll let it speak for itself if we actually go out there and do it. If not, I will give you an update and let you know why. All right, time for me to alert Denise that I'm on break. See you guys in a bit. All righty, I'm off work. I'm not going to be able to go and look at the van. Probably just not in the cards for me. But that's that. I'm going to run to the bank. i got to deposit some money. i got my uh, bonus from work. So I'm going to put that in the bank so I can maybe get some bills taken care of. It's hard to pay bills online when you don't have the money in the bank but it's in the uh, wallet. So, gotta transfer it from the wallet to the bank. Let's do this. We have to meet here at Chick-fil-A. Yum, yum, yum. Disconcerting because it's like they're stopping and looking at me. So that was some yummy goodness. Oh man, I was hoping to head that way on the interstate, but. Maybe not so much. Well, okay, it ends right there. That's <laughs> the front edge road. Oh, well. All right. Gonna try to hit half price books. Nice books. Let's see what they got. Well, they didn't have what I was looking for, so now I'm actually going to another half price books. Here we are. Another half price. I know this one has it. I was confused. Couldn't remember which store had what I wanted. This one does. Well, they had the book the other day when I came over here uh, with Denise. They don't have it now, so tough luck. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Remember, everybody, if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the past year. Goodbye. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. Thank you.